coast, April is here and in much of Maine, it's that in between season. Winter has lost, lost its grip, but spring hasn't quite taken over. All you have to do is go to a farm though, and it will be abundantly clear. This is the season of rebirth and renewal. And it's even better when you can go to a place where those changes are captured with the eye of an artist. It's said there's been a farm on this land in Hollis since 1795. And in some ways, surprisingly little has changed. The rhythms of farm life still reflect the time of the year. And this is lambing season. She's thinking I have a bottle, but I don't have a bottle on me right now, but I can go make one. This lamb's mother rejected her. I know. Oh, she. How old is she? She's five days old. You want to hold her? Sure. And what do you have to do when they're this young? How much feed them. care and feeding do they need? Yeah, feed them. See, she's looking around for the bottle. The timing of the lamb's birth can never be predicted. The only sure thing is they'll create a lot of work. Last year, we had um, maybe 21 total babies, but 17 were born in the first four days. Do you like this time of year when yeah. it's the season of rebirth yeah. and you've got these new animals arriving? It's my favorite time of year. Nina Fuller has owned a Lilybrook farm since 2004. Come on, sheep! Raised sheep here since 2011. Come on, sheep! And yes, in the sweepstakes for Maine's cutest animals, never bet against newborn lambs. Now, see, people will see this story and they'll say, oh, the animals are so adorable. I'd love to do that. But they probably wouldn't be so keen on the cleaning of the stalls. Cleaning of the stalls. Yeah, the burying of the sheep. I mean, you know, all the, all the... <sighs> there's a lot of it that's just drudgery and there's some of it that's kind of heartbreaking. There's a lot of it that's drudgery. There's a lot of it that's heartbreaking. I mean, like we were saying before, it's a microcosm of, <laughs> of life. This is Suge. He guards the barn. Skye is a border collie, ever watchful, unfailingly attentive. The farm covers 34 acres and includes one mule, one donkey, two guinea fowl, three horses, six goats, 15 chickens, and about 40 sheep. I like, I like being around the animals. What do you get out of the animals? What do they give you? Oh man, that my, my friends asked me that. <laughs> Nina, what are you doing? I, you know, what do I get from you, Annie? Nina never really answered the question, but part of the answer may lie in a bit of personal history. After Nina acquired her first sheep, she realized she needed photos of them so she could identify the animals and keep records. I started photographing them and I was like, wow, this is amazing. That the photos turned out well was not surprising. Nina is a professional photographer who's been taking pictures since the 1970s. She had done countless portraits of people. She used to photograph big name musicians when they played at the Cumberland County Civic Center. For a while, she specialized in taking photos of horses. But it is the animals on the farm that captured her eye and her heart. Is it fair to say that you think this is the best work you've ever done? I think so. I think so. Her favorite subjects are the sheep, especially this guy, Will. I mean, they all have a little bit of a smile, but Will has a big smile. <laughs> he does look happy with life. <laughs> right? Very content, very content. Will is indeed a star. This is a shot of him she adores. And while the animals take center stage, the 200-year-old barn provides the ideal photographic backdrop. And what is it about the light in the barn? I mean, why is the light so amazing? You're the photographer, you tell me! <laughs> Come on, help me out here! <laughs> right, if you're the photographer, I'd be asking you that. Why is the light so amazing in a barn? How much does Nina Fuller love photographing sheep? Well, consider this. Until a few years ago, her all-time favorite photo was one she had taken of President Obama on a beach in Cape Elizabeth in 2014. That's a good one. That's up there with Will in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> President of the United States, or your favorite sheep? Who is the better photographic subject? <laughs> neck and neck. <laughs> I 
want to be Nina when I grow up. <laughs> what do you want? Do you want a dozen photos, or do you want a dozen sheep, or do you oh want both, Sam? Oh my gosh, I want, I want it all. And you didn't tell me she photographed Gene Simmons. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Course, I'm here like yeah. freaking out. I love him. So baby lambs and Gino in one story. I'm done. I'm going home. That's great. All right. Well, <laughs> we're going to have to put in a big order for you, clearly. <laughs> you may be wondering what happens to the sheep. Well, Nina Fuller keeps some of them, or few are sold to restaurants in Greater Portland, but most are sold to other sheep breeders. Nina says she'd love to keep all of the new lambs, but she simply can't care for hundreds of yeah. sheep, which is what she would end up with on the farm if she kept them all. Absolutely. And if you'd like to see more of Nina Fuller's photographs or are interested in buying some, just head to the 207 section of our New Center Main app or our website.